Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we are going to model this part. Let's attack. Firstly, we are opening a new part in SolidWorks. And then on top plane, I'm going to create a construction line. Length is not that much important. And now I'm going to copy this nine times. Once we are done with that, we are going to create one more and this is going to be our construction geometry and in the middle of the, this line I am going to connect here to bridge. This will be horizontal, this will be perpendicular towards the hill and this both will be equal. Then I just created here a middle section. On this middle section I'm going to create one plane because in one section this is here right plane. Already we have a plane we can make it visible and then under features we go reference geometry and then we select this line and after we click on top plane. Program now created there for us a plane. Now we can hide our sketch and start with white plane first. When white plane open, we do create here a sketch, which will look like this on the screen. And by clicking this three one, I'm going to make them in the construction line and start to give our dimensions. This is seven and a half. This is from bottom 30. And now diameters. We have a diameter of 45. Here we have a diameter of 70. And last one here is 35. Once we are done with that, we close it and we go open a sketch in our plane, sex plane, where we can hide our right plane and sketch. And we look normal to there. In this direction, I believe. We again create, in fact, same looking sketch and now we are going to give dimensions height will be 70 and here we have 25 and here also we have 125 I believe this is from here 12 and a half and here we need a diameter which is 80. A sketch like this and we close it and now we can open our to sketch and plane can stay there for a while. We go surfaces and load surface. Right click selection manager and we will just select a line First is OK, and right click and second. As you see, we connect this two line in this way in SolidWorks. I'm going to show again second sketch. And now in second sketch on the plane, I'm going to create a point. Point selected and placed on that connection point of two line. While this point selected, if you go left, it will be automatically selected on this uh, box. Right click selection manager and this is our new uh, surface. Uh, third operation with loft will be connecting this to object. This is the edge. We can just pick it, but if it is a Combined sketch with more elements, you should 
here select differently and then I close this area and I change my points control points and I obtain a group of surfaces as you see on my screen we start on the right plane first thing that we are going to make mirroring them on right plane these are individual bodies three body is here mirrored after this operation we pick our origin and we click on axis and then we select top plane normal to that origin i clay create now an axis which will be used for circular pattern and now i have a lot of bodies i can select them or you can just open here and click first and uh, right one while this shift pressed then also will be clicked and a number of copies was nine as you remember in the first sketch in the beginning we divided uh, we created a sketch which was there was a nine copy basically this is our model in fact we are going to make lots last touch firstly we are going to need surfaces we select everything merge and this this will not work here there's no need after this operation we go create and click on this uh, one uh, edge and then open loop everything selected and planner surface without anything I was trying but you should select each surface that's why I am going to make now two time knitting uh, everything is okay now model is ready and only the thing that we are going to make a uh, thicken you can select your inwards outwards with one and a half millimeter thickness I'm going to make an offset thickening operation as you see this model is done yes you can assign materials and different things on our appearances metal for example bronze and if you open our real view yeah this is looking nice it was a very simple uh, model but we use some nice uh, surface commands I think you can also do, do that the same by following the steps that I made here if you like my video please do make a comment and hit the like button if you are searching more advanced videos more challenging things please do visit my channel see you in the next video